Big decision from the U.S. Supreme Court today. The ruling allows cities to enforce camping bans on unsheltered people sleeping outside in public places. This has been an issue that's come up in Phoenix over the past few years as the city grapples with its homelessness crisis. The I-team's Erica Stapleton has been following the battles in court. And Erica, this is a long legal history here. Yeah, Mark Caribe, the case Grants Pass v. Johnson is something the city of Phoenix has been keeping a close eye on, as for years they've dealt with confusion and criticism over what they're allowed to do when responding to people sleeping on the streets. Cities enforcing camping bans is not cruel and unusual punishment, according to the Supreme Court's decision Friday in Grants Pass v. Johnson. The decision supersedes a federal court ruling known as Martin v. Boise that found cities can't arrest someone for sleeping outside if there's not adequate shelter space, which created confusion for cities like Phoenix on how they can respond to homelessness. The city's grappled with this issue for years, facing dueling lawsuits, one in federal court claiming the city is violating rights by clearing encampments. A years-long DOJ investigation recently backed this up, claiming the city and Phoenix Police Department's treatment of the unsheltered population is unconstitutional. The other lawsuit comes from Superior Court, where property owners sued Phoenix for not doing enough to keep things clean and safe in the zone, the downtown area that used to be the city's largest homeless encampment. In that case, the judge ordered the city to clear the encampment, something the city is appealing amid the legal drama. The city's added shelter beds and changed how it cleans encampments. Phoenix City Council passed an updated camping ban last month that in part bans camping within 500 feet of schools, parks and shelters, where people in violation can face fines or misdemeanor charges. The updated ordinance goes into effect in September, now with added clarity on how the city can enforce it from the Supreme Court. Obviously, we're very disappointed with the opinion. It's hard to think of a clearer example of excessive punishment than charging someone uh, with a fine or even jail time simply for sleeping uh, in public when there's no place else for them to go. Jared Keenan is the legal director of the ACLU of Arizona, part of the team suing Phoenix in federal court. Criminalizing homelessness is not a solution. But not everyone agrees. Steve Tully, one of the attorneys representing the property owners in the zone lawsuit, wrote in part, we hope all cities will immediately act to eliminate these encampments, restoring public safety, forcing many individuals with drug addiction and mental disease to take the treatment they need. As for the city of Phoenix, a spokesperson sent a statement that reads in part, the city will continue to lead with services and will not criminalize homelessness while we evaluate our programs based on the court's ruling today. So, Erica, Phoenix police have to enforce this. What are they saying about it? You know, Mark, Phoenix police, when I asked them, they actually referred me back to the city who didn't talk specifically about police response, but the spokesperson said they're working strategically with all departments amid the court orders. And she made a point to note in her statement that the city is confident in what they're doing, that homelessness has went down in the past year, according to an annual count. So definitely something we will keep watching. Guys. Okay, Erica, thanks.